Welcome back to what used to be Freaky Fridays, but now is uh, the free epic game. And the free epic game this week is Midnight Ghost Hunt, a game that I've been quickly getting acquainted with, and we're just going to kind of quickly jump into it um, and, and take a look at it. The, the main thing off the bat that I think you should know is the, the ghost shards currency uh, is, shall we say, interesting. I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab a, I'm gonna grab a, you know what, I don't know, I don't know what I should do. Spectral Cannon, Spectral, you know what, I'm gonna do Spectral Cannon because ba based on how my uh, first round of this game went, shall we say, um, it did, it did not go overly well for me, though, you know, potentially, mm. you know what, S Sledgehammer will be more fun off the bat. So, the currency you kind of get quite, not, I guess, it's not that you get the currency quite quickly, it's that you can unlock the different weapons quite quickly. And it, it might lead to my first, kind of, what, I, what I'm wondering about the game is, would it be better off if this was more of a uh, economy of like, you know, Counter-Strike Valorant style of like, you got a certain amount of money per round and is one of the things I'm curious about because, you know, you I got about 850 from the first thing, so from my first game alone. So the implication being maybe it wouldn't take too long to just unlock every unlock every weapon, right? Um, anyway, here we are. We're, uh, we're on our way in. Me and the boys. Um, oh. Ooh, whoa. This is nice. All right. What What's less nice is that I'm playing entirely with bots. Um, despite having entered a quick match, and they're they're they keep moving around as though a real player has entered, but their names are still bot. So. You know, potentially, uh, there's something about this game is... There we go. Alright, there we go. People are, people are joining now. It... One of the, one of the first, one of the main things that happened in the first game I played, though, that really shocked me... Is that the game, uh, runs off a host. So if the host of your game quits, the game will have to switch host. Uh, which can reset where certain items are. Uh, which in a prop hunt game seems very not good. Um, all right, so here's the issue that I've got here. I'm not very good at this game. Also, I've got a weapon that... Oh. I love that this guy's just hitting everything. When you could you could have a device for oh got something in here. Yay, we got him. Hey, anybody got a vacuum cleaner? No. Alright. Oh. Oh. Does that mean that there's somebody else in this room, or... Does that mean there's somebody above? I think there might be somebody above, maybe. gonna hit everybody in this room. Hitting all of you. I don't know you, but I'm hitting at you. Alright, looks like looks like nobody's still here. So you're pretty vulnerable in this game, I found out the hard way playing it for the first time. Um where I kinda got knocked out because I was using a weapon that was 
So here's, you know what? Might as well, might as well just point it out. Here's kind of my issue with uh, the melee weapons. Oh, I, I felt a chill. Okay, my friends are just shooting everything, which I think is an interestingly hilarious uh, method of playing the game. So, one of the, one of the, oh. Suck it, bro. That's right. Where are you going? Oi. Now here's the problem. I actually can't do anything about that. And uh, this is what I mean. So, there are two melee weapons in the game. Uh, unfortunately, despite how uh, good the melee weapon is... Oh. What was that? Um, unfortunately, the while the melee while while you can use the sludge hammer to destroy objects really well, uh, it it is very poor against you know when the ghost is actually out of the object running around, and I think that's not great. I it it seems a, a weird choice to to do that because it's not the same case for the guns. The guns are like oh like they're you know they're about half and half right where. I think to have one melee weapon be basically useless against each different type. Because, like, the ghost can just pretty easily uh, switch between, like, which uh, thing they want to be doing as well. You know what? I'm going to take the defibrillator so that I can help my teammates in case they get knocked out. It, it seems a, a, a poor choice because it means that if you're running around with the thing that's good against, you know, destroying the chairs and the ghost is in a chair, you'll do a lot of damage, but then the ghost could just see you running up with a with a sledgehammer and just be like oh and the ghost will just leave the chair and then the ghost could just attack you and beat you handily uh because you do so unbelievably little damage uh with a with a with the wrong melee weapon against the wrong enemy type uh enemy type just being whether the ghost is in the in the prop or outside of the prop and because you do so little damage, it means that the ghost could just see what kind of weapon you have and then be like, oh, well, then I'm just going to beat the crap out of you in whichever form you are going to do less damage with. And that seems like a really dumb design choice. So I, I don't quite get why they've done that. Um, also, and oh, I see you. I see you, sir. I see. I see you. So, th so that that ghost just sort of uh, came out to. Oh. So the, these ghosts all just came to die. Very interesting, very interesting choices uh, from the ghosts. We uh, we sort of just took care of them handily because of that. So if, if your ghost don't don't do that, you don't you don't want to do that. That was a bad. That was bad. Don't do that. I re I don't recommend that. However, I I do at least at least on my initial play. Oh, well, look at that! Some some more money for for stuff. On my oh, way more money for stuff. On my initial game, the feeling that I had was that this game uh, is more tilted in the ghost's favor, and it felt quite heavily tilted in the ghost's favor for kind of the reasons that I mentioned before. Uh, if you're if the other team, if your opponents are using, and as you can see, here's, we, we unfortunately don't, like I could buy some of these, but let's be real, I don't understand this game well enough to, to be doing any of that. So we're just gonna stick with the main set of abilities. All right. And uh, we can sort of do a possession, as you can see, or we can, you know, just punch. Um, now, I feel like the best, like, <laughs> you just, just go and possess something and then, like, put it, just just be up here. Because it will take them so long to just get to you up here. Um, oh, I guess not, actually, because they can come through. You know what? Never mind. Never mind. The, 
<laughs> it turns out the developers thought about that. Who knew? Um, I don't actually know what's going to be the best place to hide in here, though. Like, I felt like we found everybody relatively quickly. More importantly, you just, you, you kind of want to get, get someone alone is kind of the, that's the real trick. It's less that I don't think you're going to get found at all and more that you, you don't want them to find, you don't want them to find you, uh, please, please go, please go down. Okay, this is, this is awkward. All right, there we go. All right. Well, that doesn't look natural, does it? There we go. No one will ever know. Uh, here's the thing, though. Now we just sort of have to wait. And, you know, I think it, weirdly enough, I almost would argue it is a smarter game plan. Though I can't prove this because, again, high level, uh, you know, high level game, whatever. You know, whenever if someone is a high level anything, they're going to be way better than you. Um, I would argue that the best strategy is probably for just all the ghosts to stay in the exact same room, like different area in the same room, and then hope that your uh, opponents immediately split up. Oh, look who it is. All right, we, we have an issue here. He sounded like he was using a thing, but... Oh. And and if you're all in the same room and then one guy enters just like that by himself, you could just kind of all beat him up. <laughs> and then uh, one of the things that I find that's really unfair in this game is how quickly the humans can just be dead. Um, so as you can see, we have already knocked out two of them i think I oh wait no maybe yeah we've already we've already knocked out two of them there's there oh no wait no 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 wait i'm blue wait am i blue what's going on it just said blank vacuumed someone who was blue and i thought i thought that i could see my teammates running around yeah we're, we're orange right so we've already killed two of them you know what i'm just confusing myself at this point so the reason why I thought it was uh, ghost lenient, shall we say, a little easier for the ghosts, is the idea that... Oh, hello. He's back. We might need to try to take him out, maybe. What's going on? Okay, yeah, we are orange. So, I thought so. So, as you can see, we've already killed two of them. Um, however... Two of us are already quote unquote dead. Now, here's the reason why it's unfair. When the the countdown to midnight ends and we come back to life, they do not. Um, and I think that is a pretty patently unfair element of this game. I think it is the humans when they get knocked out, get knocked out incredibly quickly. Um as in, they get knocked out and then are dead very fast. And I do mean very, very fast. And I just, I don't get, I don't get why. Um, it would, it would make way more sense to me if the humans had uh, quite a generous, like, oh, okay, like they've been knocked down, but, you know, like the Chumbawamba song, they can get back up again. And you're never going to keep them down. At least in the countdown to midnight. Then after midnight, you know, sure. The same way as the ghosts die in one life. The humans would die in one life. But because the ghosts come back, <laughs> no matter what, at midnight. Even if you vacuum them and they come back a little weaker. It, it does make this feel a little unfair. Now, I'm going to see if I can't. Oh no! Oh no! I, wa I just wanted to have fun!
Oh, I punched him once. He started. So I don't know how cloaked you are when you, I just want. I just decided that I wanted to do that before uh, before midnight because again, this is why I think it's unfair. I can just come back to life in 15 seconds. Okay, so now there, that was interesting. So if he then got knocked out, the guy vacuumed me, my negative trait wouldn't even happen anymore. Um, fun fact, there was only one guy alive on the opposing team. And so now we are all back to life. Um, so I'm not, oh no, wait, wait, are they all alive? What's going on? Okay. I'm very, I'm very confused as to what's going on now. I thought they were all dead. Never mind. Maybe I don't know anything about how the mechanics of this game work. I've just realized I am most confused. Hey, I, I did it. And now your soul. <laughs> All right, that's one way to celebrate. Uh, I was thinking your soul is mine. That's what I was thinking. Um, so I, so I thought we were gonna win, but the way that we won actually ended up being different from my expectation. <laughs> And what I mean by that is that we knocked them out. I thought we had knocked them out, but maybe we hadn't knocked any of them out. I'm very confused about everything that just happened, basically. Um, and originally I was only gonna do one match, but now I feel like I have to do a second one here just to, just to confirm, <laughs> just to confirm what I thought was the case. So, we were the orange, right? When <laughs> we were ghosts. And we knocked out three out of the four blues. But as you could see, when the hunt started, there were multiple humans there. And there should have only been... So I, now I'm very confused, because... So when I played it before uh, recording the video, the humans, when they got knocked out, they then didn't participate in the hunt. They got knocked out before the hunt, and then they weren't even in the hunt. You just watched whoever was remaining but that last game they were they were there so i'm i'm a little confused now i don't maybe we didn't actually knock out any of the humans beforehand maybe i just i thought we had um we'll have to we'll have to see we'll have to see we'll just we'll take one more one more peek into the into the into the realm of midnight ghost hunt just to just to make sure that's correct because i think it's a big problem i think i think it is a big mechanical problem with the game however if i am wrong because now i am i was i was sure i was very sure before and now i am much less sure at least when i played and i was on the human team and i got knocked out prior to the hunt i didn't respawn or come back or anything um so that's why I was so sure it was because it, it didn't it didn't let me come back. So, but again, that game I thought we had knocked out three of them, and then there were at least three of them there in the, in the in during the hunt. So maybe I'm just maybe I've just confused myself beyond all hope of repair, or maybe this game is taking so long to load because it relies on a host rather than on a server side, which again for a uh, for a multiplayer game to rely on a host feels like a not great decision for a uh, user experience, but you know, servers are expensive as we all know. Um, very curious as if that's the case. Cause again, I think it's a big problem mechanically with the game. If, if the humans, if they get knocked out pre hunt, don't have a way of coming back. I, just think it's I just think mechanically it's a very bad decision now if the human gets let's say let's say the human uh, does something stupid right in the opening part of the game before the hunt they enter a room and the ghosts gang up on them right all four ghosts were in that room and they gang up on the one stupid human that went into a room by themselves 
I think that human should be then get knocked out by them and just be on the ground, you know, crying for help sort of thing. And then one of the other humans can then come in and revive them up until the hunt starts. And then once the hunt has started, no revive. But beforehand, there should be revive. Now, see, this is one of the issues with, again, running on a, on a host, right? We've had, we had four people on the opposing team, and then they've all left because it took so long for them to connect to the host. Uh, and this is a big problem with running a multiplayer game this way, is that you're going to get that a lot, and then boom, all of a sudden, like, we're still waiting, we're still waiting, we're still here. And you're going to get more and more people getting impatient, more and more people quitting, and then we're never going to get it. So, uh, unless... Unless these two fill in the next few seconds here, I think we're just going to need to quit because I don't think it'll ever fill. Uh, I'm not entirely sure why it doesn't just load into the game at this point and then... Like, I, anyway, didn't it? It literally had bots last game fill in until our teammates joined. So I don't know why it's not doing that right now. There are a lot of inconsistencies with this game I have noticed. <laughs> Um, now, whether or not they are legitimate inconsistencies or just things that seem like inconsistencies because the game, uh, is designed in a, in a potentially strange way, uh, it's hard to know. Those two things look very similar at times. All right, this is, this is not going to work. Let's try one more time, see if this can actually connect, and then if not, if not, if not, but... I am sort of like, like, you know, the, the prop hunt game, I forget what, is it, is the game just called prop hunt? I've never played it, but that game, very popular, right? Prop hunt, very popular. So to take the idea of prop hunt, to take, you know, some of, you know, to try to try, try to, um, you know, prosper on some of the popularity of things like phasmophobia prop hunt try to you know get these mechanics to all work together is definitely a a hot you know what let's just do a practice match with bots to do it as a test because that's just <laughs> that's just not loading so that's going to be a problem that is you know honest enough to look at with the game right it's going to be a problem um host based lobbies is is going to cause issues certainly so radar so again here's 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 a big problem sledgehammer ghost smasher there should not be two different weapons one is good against props one is good against ghosts i think this is very dumb um i j i just think they should be combined into being one weapon like i get the idea of one being good against one and one being good against the other but again, in a one-on-one -on -one fight against a ghost, the ghost can just switch form and absolutely decimate you. Like, it's like, oh, I've used my sledgehammer on the chair that the ghost was hiding in, except the ghost saw me enter the room, saw that I have a sledgehammer, and was like, oh, I'm just going to beat the crap out of you as a ghost then. Um, which is very silly, because you can only have one of them at a time. Yeah, it's... I do, I do not understand why they have done that. Um, but anyway, we'll go in with the spectral. Oh, you know what? I have 3,200. Uh, let's do, let's do the, let's do a flamethrower. That's more. Oh, wait, what should we do? You know what? I quite like this, but you know what? Having actually played the game, I, you know what? You know what? I like the Reaper. Let's do it. I like the Reaper because it's, it's like, it's, it's got kind of a, a metro, like a metro feel to it. So I'm a, I'm a fan. Um, it is a kind of single shot rifle guy though. So if we, if we don't do well with it, then well, <laughs> we're going to get punished. So why don't we, ah, uh, me, oh, my ass. Oh, well, handled. Anybody want to vacuum? Anybody? Hey, bots. <laughs> Hey, either of you bots got a vacuum? You wanna? You, hey, you either you wanna you wanna you wanna get that? <laughs> You're just gonna leave it? No, well, I guess we're just 
We're just a couple. Of, we're just a bunch of messy dudes. I'll tell you. All right, let's uh, keep taking a look now. Unfortunately, one of the problems with doing a, a bot game here is that it doesn't let me test the theory that I had, which is that <laughs> which is that Gargoyles is a great show from the nineties. Uh, I love Keith David, which is that the humans kind of can get taken out a little too easily by the ghosts in this initial state. And that, wait, hold on. Wait a minute. Oh, no. It, wait, why am I, hold on. Is it, why am I getting serious vibes around here? Hmm. You know what? Yeah, that's right. Oh, very sensitive. Oh. I was death gripped. Oh man, I never thought death grips was going to stop me from hunting ghosts. Fucked up. Yeah, I, I, I kind of don't know how I feel about this game. Here's what I, here's what I feel about this game. I feel that this game is free right now, sir, sir. <laughs> this okay? Uh, did I lie? I thought the game was free, right? Now. Yeah, the game's free right now, right? You can, you get it for. Free. I'm getting, I'm getting pushed back by invisible forces. Virgil, what are you doing? What are you doing, Virgil? Um. You know, it's free if you have a a cohort of friends. If you are a human being that has friends. And I know there are many of you out there. Uh, why do I keep getting... Is, it, is that like one of the dead ghost powers that they can kind of like push you? Um, you know, if you're going to get a gang of four people together, guess what? You're probably going to have a good time. No matter what you're doing. Whether it's playing this game, whether it's watching a bad movie. Right? You're gonna have a good time. I think there is a good time to be had here. I do think there are a lot of mechanical inconsistencies and, and maybe some silly choices that could be very easily fixed. I, but again, easy maybe implies that, it may, maybe is the wrong word because the moment you change anything, you have to balance the entire game again. And that is obviously not so easy. Um, I do like some of the designs of stuff. I also don't like some of the designs of stuff. I feel like the designs of whether it's like weapons or items, I find the designs to be very hit and miss. Like, I like, I like these designs. I don't know how I feel about the 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 like the yellow uh, scope here, but I certainly like you know this little this little uh, HD you know camera monitor attached to the gun that is you know playing Undertale on it. Um, I think mean, that's pretty stupid in a way that I enjoy. Uh, let's get let's get to midnight. Fire off this gun a couple times and and then and then call it there. Um, you know what? We're not going to need the radar. I'll tell you that. So why don't we medicine? Everybody's favorite. Th okay, where guys? Don't don't leave me. Don't don't leave me. So as you can see, none of us have, none of the, none of the bots have gotten killed here. But again, I just think it is not great that, you know, if the humans die in this opening area, there's no way for them to come back for midnight. Uh, and that seems a, a little silly. It's not balanced. It doesn't feel very balanced that way. All right. Oh, we gotta. Why, why, why are my homies running away from me? Oh. Oh, this is a problem. Uh, where are you going? Now, when I was testing these guns as a headshot was uh pretty much just killing with the oh, there was a guy behind me. All right, now one of the things you will notice. 
humans get knocked out and then they're just kind of dead despite there being a, an item called the defibrillator. That the whole point is that the defibrillator should bring you back to life, right? But the the gap, the uh, the amount of time. Okay, the the bots do not know how to deal with each other. But the amount of time between a human being knocked out and being able to be revived by a defibrillator before they're just dead, dead, is very, very, very short. In fact, it is so short that it makes it a very much a pointless mechanic. Um, so I think that is the main point of improvement that this game could have is balancing the fact that the ghosts can die in the initial part of the hunt and then they come back for the midnight hunt. Same thing, humans should be able to be downed in the initial part of the hunt and then if they're downed, they're just lying on the ground like a baby, you know, screaming for their teammates to come and get them. Teammate runs over and gets them you know, with the defibrillator, which is an item in the game that you can use, but I've never seen anybody use it. And then, you know, once once that's happened, you uh, you come back to life. Wait, I think these guys did use a defibrillator. Oh my God, they did use it and I was just looking somewhere else. Because I think there was only one of them up, right? I think one of them was down. Oh, I can't believe I missed the first time someone actually used a defibrillator. Well, that's gonna, I'm gonna call the video there then. That's. Yeah, that's disappointing. That's a di <laughs> disappointing for me and disappointing for everybody. And and I think this game is a little disappointing, but you know what? It's free. Try it out. Uh, see what you think, especially if you have a gang of friends that aren't bot George and bot Virgil. Uh, unfortunately, because the... <laughs> what are they doing? Unfortunately, because of the way that the the host model of this kind of game works you're not going to get the same stability that you get from a game that's running server-side. Uh, and that is unfortunate, but it is a, a cost-cutting measure, uh, certainly. All right, well, give it up. Give it up one last time for Big Verge, and uh, one last time for Gorgeous George, and I'll see you on the next one. See ya.